Alright, so welcome to my second part of my Let's Play of Daikatana. Once again, uh, this is a precursor to a series of videos that I would like to make. Um, I did, I did, basically spotlighting both the most popular in terms of bad and the most popular in terms of good, and settling things down a bit. So I'm showing you guys just how awesome this game is that has a very bad reputation. So next level is the sewer system. So let's go. Oh, and the, for those that don't know, I am Rob. So this is the second level. I haven't picked up any sidekicks yet. Sidekicks can be a little dumb. So there we go. First enemies. Moving on. One thing I was kind of playing around with is I'm, I'm thinking maybe multi kills might help, but I haven't seen a real change in it. the door. So I'm not 100% sure how the experience works. The N64 version has, instead of the level counter down there, they show the amount of experience. Here they show only the, um, I don't pick up that ammo. Um, they show the experience, but not the, or the level, but not the experience. So yeah. secret. Go down here to full vitality. Vitality gives you full vitality, obviously, plus 75 health, so it's a good health boost if you're low on health. So that's the door you want to go in. Now, by, uh, that mech actually came out. That might make my life a little tougher. Let's see how, how much I can record it on my show. Now, the first, admittedly, the first um, episode is the weakest. So. Um, it's a good idea to have. Oh, he's all the way over there. What the hell? It's okay. He's dead. He's normally on here. He must have got down somewhere. Um, but yeah. It's a good idea to have... To have your right mouse button as your weapon 2, because your... Or weapon 3, I should say, because your, uh... Because your C4 there, if you press the uh, weapon select button, you actually detonate your C4. So. So this way it turns into a. Uh, into pipe bombs essentially. Like sticky pipe bombs. So this is a little tricky with the C4. This is why it's good. This way that you can just. You can, uh, Detonate in the midair before it hits the side, and be able to still hit the map. So I'll do that again. There. Should almost be dead now, so I'll just finish him off with my stuff here. I didn't destroy it yet. That is a secret right there. Let's just kill that last gator before. Anything here? Should be around here somewhere. So. Maybe I already killed him. He must have been where you know, with that other gator I killed with the C4. Oh well, that works for me. And once more, Ventrigo. Ah. So there we go. There's my next door there. So next secret right here. Flip this. We'll notice, notice a row mosquito in there. I'm going to kill him now because I have time to kill. You will see that the door to it is very slow. Don't know why, but it is. And you just go up here. And 
found another golden soul. Just hop back on the transport thing. Not quite an elevator. Trolley. Platform. I've seen people take shortcuts with uh, a C4 jump, but I don't feel like it, so... I have the health in the armor for it. I do some rocket jumps there. There's a... mech here with the rockets, another one here. I just read what the what all the mechs were called, I just forgot what they were called. Weird names, they don't sound mechish. Falling my way around so I don't have to fight against this thing. Kill the, kill the frog before he can get crushed. Now you will see somewhat some hints online about how it's better to use. How it's better to play co-op so you don't have to deal with all the... So you don't have to deal with the, um... With the AI... Partners? Or the sidekicks, I should say. But really, they're not that bad. And the game, it's like it's missing something if you... If you don't do that. So, there's two secrets here. There's the one right here. And then there's one back here by the Haas portal. You'll probably still see the Haas portal a little later. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking that was a secret from later on. I had a brain fart there. My bad. Pardon me. I think there is frog that destroys my chances. I think I actually have a frog. Alrighty, time to kill a whole bunch of Roboskeets and their eggs. There we go. There's another Roboskeet in here. Now, this can be a death trap. There's actually a frog down here, as well as some an ion blaster thing, so you can get crushed by the falling falling stuff and you can get killed by the by the grinder so yeah that could be dangerous first time players so here we go we're gonna use more c4 here the reason why I'm not going into those ones is one holds a life seed or not a life seed a golden soul told you I'd say it the other one holds c4 <laughs> So I'm going to kill this mech first and then go back for that shit. Part of my English. I'm on the stream way too much and I swear freely on stream. Weird, oddly because of on my videos I don't. So there we go. He's dead. I have to go back. Now one of the, the last secret is, is up in a grate. In the, in the level. And I had a brain fart there, so. Hey, I ain't perfect. So I don't quite need that Haas portal, but you guys will... It's basically a health station, but you guys will see one see them later on. There's a few Haas portals in the uh, N64 version. They just... You do, I, they don't have, like, the label Haas portal on them. All right. I'll have to open it up. But uh, they're there. They don't have the cool animation or anything. They just the screen flashes and it fills up your health. Not as cool. So there we go. You guys are gonna see my alternate way of attacking stuff that doesn't include the fists. Your water, since I can't use this, I'm gonna use C4 with my oh, with my um. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let me up. 
Um, with with my detonate button as my second mouse button. Trackball button. In this case. There we go. Now this part is a little tricky. This is the first real sticky part of this game, or the sticky part is you have this mech up here that's gonna throw stuff down at you. There we go. Since I can't can't go straight up at him. Ah, uh, that's why I left this secret. That's not a secret right here. With the gas hands, this is actually one of the most powerful weapons in the game, but I'm not going to quite use it yet. And that I never saved before that uh, mech means I got a little, I'm a little cockier than what I was when I first <laughs> played this game. In fact, I only got used to just killing him just naturally like that. Like only a little bit ago. Okay, so I shut up during the loading part there because I knew I would uh, end up reloading, which I did. This can be uh, quite tricky because of those mechs down there, that's a secret area that is going to make my life better. Just right, you'll actually, uh, you'll actually hit the pipe like I did there, but I knew I could afford that because I have health here. So, 21 C4. I'll move. I'll move. But yeah, as I mentioned before, speaking of ammo, um, another thing that playing co op single player so you don't have to do with the uh, sidekicks like, uh, like a hint online does, is one, you don't get the second final boss, um, and two, since all, since everything respawns, including uh, all, all ammo and even like golden souls and stuff, it really does make the game a little too easy, it kind of removes all strategy when it comes to that stuff, and doors are your enemy in this game. Got to be mindful of those. Thankfully, there's more C4 over here. There's another tough part over here, but I'm gonna go through it without saving. In fact, I'm going to try to do this whole this whole section of the level without saving, which I may regret deciding to do. But uh, yeah, we'll see. we shall see. Now this is tricky because you have to get over that grinder thing. A turbine while you're while the while the uh, water's lowering. See, this part can be a little tricky. Thankfully, never. Did. This whole experience thing isn't isn't an exact science. 
that's for damn sure. I'm not sure exactly how it works since, like I said, there's no ammo counter. Oh, I meant to... Oh, one new strategy that I'm doing is there's some C4. Um, that you can pick up, but unless you have the right acro, you'll actually, uh, you won't be able to jump back up. I'll take the damage, I think. Going back down. That's my bad. I'm more powerful than I normally am because I put that towards power, so... Oh, it looks like I got the, all the eggs this time. That's, that makes up for it. I don't have to waste any time with that. is a little trickier than, than I'm letting on. Oh, there's another mech. Um, jumping over there is tough because since the water's flowing out, it, you'll, you can actually get pushed back without being careful. Oh, and there's... I somehow awaken all the rest of the mechs. Sure, I'll shoot them from back here. Nothing wrong with that. It just that just came out. Normally I kill them in the tunnel when I'm in the tunnel, but somehow I destroy that frog. Ruins everything by jumping down. I'm wasting more time out of here than I normally do. That's okay. You just hear this secret door opening and it automatically opens. Dope fish is down there. Now, if you guys don't know what the dope fish is, then you guys don't know what you're talking about. Classic games. Dope fish appears in Commander Keen as an enemy. He has quite the cult following. It's cool seeing him as an enemy. That you can actually kill. That's what I'm going to use the ultimate gas hands for, because they really do help. Because there is invulnerability in every cave of him, but, uh. Okay, here's the part where I normally load from, where I normally uh, save, but. Uh, so kill the frogs. Load from air. But yeah, um. The. Uh, the uh, dope fish has a lot of health, so killing him before the mana scroll, which is a ability, wears off is a little trick. See him shooting at me now, so I've got to be careful. Ooh, this is going to be close. And yeah, that was a, that was more than a gamble there. Um, <laughs> and I made a past it with just a little bit of health, but it counts. That's what I get for not saving right before it. I'm proud of myself there. So let's just the dope fish does give you a lot of health. So to get to him. You have to shoot all four of these. So just a fist. 85. 135. Okay. Let's go. There's Mr. Goatfish. He likes to. Since I have. Pretty much the most powerful weapon in the game at my disposal right now. That is an insane amount. I'm saving the rest of the gas hands. The gas hands does does uh, run out, so you want to be sort of conserve the amount of time you use. 
to use it, so... Oh, they got caught on, the on each other. Well, that works for me, because now they won't attack me. There we go. see that the uh, weapons aren't showing up in the inventory, and here's where I was thinking of. Oh wait, because that's armor, I'll do that right before I go to the last area. That door back. Now there's some eggs around here, so... There's not much splash damage on those rockets. Sort of like the uh, the rockets that those enemies shoot at the beginning of at the beginning of one real. I think that covers everything until the last area. used to use the shot cycler for the dope fish, but then I found out that the ultimate gas hands really helps. So the shot cycler is very powerful, it shoots six shots at a time. Well one after another. All of the almost every enemy almost every um not enemy uh weapon in this game is useful. Um there are some exceptions which I'll point out. Stay tuned for part three.